Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I have a very special guest with me and that is Dr. Arun Bharadwaj. So doctor, welcome to my YouTube channel. And before we get into this video, I just wanted to give a brief description about Dr. Arun. So he has his own clinic in Chennai and he is very well known to treat diabetes. Uh, he has a lot of patients who he gets from all over the world. And uh, since there were many viewers who are asking so many questions about diabetes, Diabetes. I wanted to have a talk with Dr. Arvind so that we could spread the knowledge of Ayurveda on how Ayurveda treats uh, diabetes. And uh, before getting into this as well, I wanted to just inform you guys that uh, he also owns his own YouTube channel wherein he speaks a lot about diabetes and he has treated so many cases. Uh, and if you want to know more about it, you can visit his YouTube channel and I will also share the link below. You guys can have a look. So, doctor, welcome to my channel. Hi. Hi, Smriti. How are you? I'm good. I'm good, doctor. How are you? So, this is from my end. Dr. Smriti is my classmate. We studied together in Bangalore. She is a, a very good friend of mine. We have been very close during the college days and uh, our friendship continues. So, yes, Smriti, uh, tell me. So, what doctor, do you want to discuss about diabetes? Yeah, so yeah. doctor, there were a few questions which the viewers have asked and I am hoping that you could clarify those doubts. So, before sure. we get into it and before we start it off with, uh, doctor, could you tell us according to you, what is diabetes? So, <clears throat> to keep it very simple, diabetes is just elevated blood sugar levels. That is it. So, uh, when your blood sugar level is checked with either a glucometer or uh, if you give your sample to your lab, if the blood sugar levels are more than 100 and 140 fasting and postprandial respectively and if the HbA1c is above 6, then we can label the person as a diabetic. But the good news is, Diabetes is a completely reversible condition. One need not consume medicines for the rest of their lives. They can be without medicines by following a certain dietary patterns which I generally guide them if they come to me as patients. Okay. And also doctor, just to you know, know more about diabetes, could you also tell everyone what are the symptoms of diabetes? So as you all, as you, as many of the uh, general public and the diabetics know, uh, the first symptom of diabetes is polyuria, that is frequent urination, and polydipsia, uh, thirst, uh, frequent, frequently feeling like uh, drinking water and also dry mouth. And other symptoms include either weight gain or weight loss. Initially in diabetes, there will be weight gain because of insulin resistance, and uh, eventually because of uh, you know. Uh, uh, ketosis, there, there will be weight loss also uh, in uh, later stages of diabetes and other uh, few, few more other symptoms are tingling sensation in feet and hands, uh, burning sensation in feet. They are all complications of uh, diabetes but also there are, they, they are the symptoms in chronic diabetic patients. And if you Google, you, you will find more symptoms. Let's not waste time in discussing about symptoms. Let's focus more on uh, uh, the cure and uh, you know the uh, tips for uh, re reducing blood sugar levels and we will talk more about what is not generally available uh, to the general public in the internet okay fine doctor and uh, can one neglect being diabetic and if so what are the side effects so definitely diabetes should not be neglected you know generally i've seen people patients uh, who don't take their allopathic uh, uh, medicines thinking that uh, they might uh, harm the liver or the kidney or the intestines, whatever. So I generally, in my interviews, I tell them that uh, also when they come in, in person, I tell them that uh, um, <clears throat> not taking medications for diabetes is worse than leaving the diabetes as such. So the blood sugar levels, if they, if they flow in your uh, blood for longer durations without being controlled, that the, the harm it uh, does is more than the uh, side effect uh, which the medicines for diabetes uh, will give so definitely but, diabetes has to be yeah, some no, some of the other steps yeah. has to be taken to reduce the blood sugar levels okay. maybe uh, allopathic medicine or ayurvedic or homeopathic or whatever but blood sugar levels has to come down that's very important okay and also doctor can you talk about stress and diabetes is it related 
definitely it's related um, you know i got a patient um, who was a muslim uh, by religion and uh, recently she married a hindu person so there were lots of uh, tension and uh, problems going on uh, in their house because of uh, this uh, recent marriage they eloped and married so they are, they, they were in lot of trouble so she came came to me with fasting 300 and post postprandial 600 initially they didn't uh, tell the, tell this fact to me i was changing so many things in her diet i was giving so many medicines and nothing changed i didn't get any result after third or fourth month and i asked tell me what's happening what's wrong you know until then i was not minding much about stress this happened 3 or 4 years back so until then i didn't uh, mu- give much uh, stress on strength uh, on uh, stress so then she burst out uh, she you know shared all uh, all her problems to me and i said uh, i don't know what you will do Uh, you talk to all your uh, people who are causing stress you have to come to a, uh, a state where you are completely stress free you, you go somewhere take break take a break and you know go go somewhere stay there for a couple of weeks reduce the stress and check your blood sugar levels then very interestingly after two weeks of a holiday trip uh, she came back to me with uh, you know at least not if not 300 around 150 fasting and uh, 200 postprandial so of course other uh, other uh, uh, you know food and uh, other parameters also will matter for diabetes but stress also plays a major role which uh, the general public neglect so yes okay. st- stress has to be checked okay fine doctor and also in ayurveda is there a permanent cure if they take ayurvedic medi- medicines can we like you know permanently cure diabetes even though if his glucose levels is really very high and if the patient is on insulin then can he be dependent on uh, like you know ayurveda yes definitely no matter uh, how long he has been a diabetic or no matter what all medications he is under so long as the patient is a type 2 diabetic diabetes is a completely reversible condition and uh, i don't say the, my approach is not 100% ayurvedic approach it is uh, it is based on logic i i apply simple logic in treating my diabetes uh, and with this logic if they eat if they plan their meal yes diabetes is a completely reversible condition and they need not take any medicine for the rest of their lives okay. that's great and uh, you know definitely i have to give credits to ayurveda because my diet is based on uh, ayurveda you no know, i have taken references from charaka samhita shushruta samhita i have seen uh, how our rishis wanted us to plan their meal so i have i have taken all the references and i created a diet chart and uh, i am using that for uh, a reversal of my of the diabetes okay fine can allopathic medicines be taken along with ayurvedic medication is one of the questions. it has to be taken yes it it has to be taken because uh since the body is used to reducing blood sugar levels in a particular way if you suddenly stop uh, all these medication and start with ayurvedic medication it won't work so what i generally do is i give ayurvedic medicine allopathic medicine and that that all the three so when all the three are combined together that their blood sugar levels uh, will start falling and uh, once it reaches sub normal level i will start uh, re- gradually reducing allopathic medication uh i will ask them to go to their allopathic doctor show them the results and then uh, take their guidance in reducing allopathic medicines they'll take a couple of months to completely stop uh, uh, allopathic medicines and then after that i will start reducing ayurvedic medicines too and finally just with the diet uh, blood sugar levels can be maintained so slowly we have to taper off with the medicines so no medicine has to be taken lifelong exactly correct Also doctor in how many months can a patient get results in ayurveda I have seen as quick as a week to you know even start even stop uh, insulin and I have also seen people taking 6 to 8 months to completely re- uh, get rid of all their uh, medicines so it falls under 1 week to 8 months Okay fine doctor on an average 4 months we can say Okay Uh, once treated can diabetes reoccur when so not- this is a very common question uh, which which all my patients ask yeah. so my answer is um, you know take a random person on, on on the road he is a non diabetic okay so if i ask you uh, if that person is having a chance to get diabetes what would be your answer 
yeah he can if he doesn't follow a proper lifestyle if no he, some random person is having a 50% chance of getting diabetes right so even after complete reversal since that person is a non diabetic even he has a chance of getting diabetes again so it all depends on what a person chooses uh, to eat in his meal so that choice if that choice is a wrong choice then he will end up being a diabetic okay true yeah so lifestyle plays a very important role over here so according yes. to doctor what are the food items that has to be completely avoided by diabetic patients uh anything which is concentrated should be avoided for example uh white rice wheat which we get in the market today they're all concentrated foods uh we, i i don't I, i don't want to talk about uh, sweets sugar you know yeah. cool drinks and all such things which uh, everyone knows already yeah. so let me point out certain food items which people think is healthy so let's take idli dosa one of the favorite uh, uh, cuisine in uh, south india so that is one of the major causes of diabetes and we south indians are not aware we are planning uh, idli dosa two times in a day our ancestors even 50 60 years back were not eating idli dosa even uh, once in a month they used to eat uh, in any festival or uh, sometimes like on no moon days or full moon days they they had a particular time and only then they uh, prepared idli dosa for uh, eating in their uh, meals so that uh, eating pattern is not there today and that is why we have a diabetic in almost every house right so that is also very important and uh, of course uh, bread english breakfast bread and uh, uh, other uh, wheat related products biscuits milk milk is also a very uh, potential uh, uh, culprit for uh, diabetes not only type 2 diabetes on a long run even uh, a1 milk which is from uh, uh, foreign breed uh, milk a person can even develop type 1 diabetes so we must be very careful with uh, concentrated foods and any food which gives us instant energy so on a contrast the solution definitely is uh, anything which which is uh, consisting of good fiber like for example traditional rice so i don't know how much uh, uh, are you aware about traditional rice not you doctor the the us you know about the traditional rice of course so uh, these traditional rice varieties are indigenous rice varieties of india we must be very proud if you all uh, you know uh, take these traditional rice varieties cook and consume we will be the leaders of diabetes in the future we, we can teach the world about how to reverse diabetes just by having two times or even three times rice yes you you heard me right it is uh, consuming rice and reversing uh, diabetes you know generally all doctors uh, ask us to stop rice for uh, uh, you know uh, keeping diabetes under control right right so w- what i am talking about is eat rice and not control but reverse diabetes that is the power of uh, our uh, traditional rice varieties and we should be proud about it and uh, uh, obviously inclu- including uh, uh, lots of vegetables with good amount of fiber and fruits will help uh, in re- reversal of diabetes okay. they, they, these are some aspects uh, in my diet chat doctor okay fine so for everyone out there like there are the do's and don'ts so i will link it somewhere over the screen so you can have a look on what you have to avoid and what you can consume so it will be easy for you all and uh, apart from that doctor could you also tell us about the lifestyle routines which one has to avoid to prevent diabetes or also for the people who are already diabetic what can they follow as a daily routine Sure, 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 sure. So, uh, in Ayurveda, it is mentioned that a person who is always sedentary uh, can get uh, diabetes. So, sitting on a couch, uh, whiling away, and uh, you know, always watching TV, uh, spending more time on the screen—all these are uh, definitely uh, causes for diabetes. So, uh, you can, you know, instead go for a walk, one or two kilometer walk. You know, work out, hit a gym, do such things. so to this can definitely prevent and uh, also it helps in reversing diabetes okay okay fine so doctor does has his own uh, brand of products wherein he sells a lot of traditional rice and it is really very well known because i have seen personally many patients who have you know where their diabetes or their sugar levels has 
you know come down completely so uh, it's a little bit difficult to prepare the rice but it's actually very healthy that also i will link it in the description you guys can have a look at the rice options which dr arvin has introduced in you know his uh, brand so doctor you can also tell us something about your rice varieties which you have it's really very interesting because uh, like you know you have this maple samba and many other rice right so if you could tell us also more about it like you know for diabetes what specific rice should one choose that would be you know good for the viewer yeah yeah sure 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 so my personal favorite is uh, mapile sabba so i can talk about uh, traditional rice varieties of uh, tamil nadu because i've been all the while practicing in tamil nadu and i'm only aware about uh, tamil nadu rice varieties and my personal favorite is mapile sabba which is a uh, dark maroon uh, in color and after cooking uh, the rice opens up like popcorn uh, gradually and uh, from from far it will look pink uh, so this traditional rice varieties um, uh, will only be in darker shades so like kartianam karuppu kauni all these rice varieties are in darker shade and it will take one and a half hours to cook and that is the reason why it is good for diabetes so uh, so it since it takes a lot of time for cooking it also takes a lot of time for digestion so since it is taking a, lo- lo- a lot of time for digestion the blood sugar levels are gradually released into your uh, blood um, so since there is a gradual release of sugar into your blood whenever you check the sugar levels are not uh, you know hitting a spike okay. so this is how these traditional rice varieties are uh, helping so basically they are all low glycemic index uh, rice okay okay so that's a great this thing so for those of you all who want to try it out and who are quite uh, health conscious you guys can have a look about maple samba rice and also doctor a few minutes back uh, you just mentioned that you know fruits can be consumed by diabetic patients so can all yes. be consumed or are there certain fruits which has to be avoided there are no restrictions as far as fruits are concerned i make my patients eat even mango jackfruit sapota sitafal all sweet fruits i uh, make them eat and, and still they uh, have a very low blood sugar levels so you can also try at your home i have posted in my youtube page about uh, fruits and diabetes there uh, you know even in uh, american diabetes association in their website if you look at uh, the items to be consumed for a diabetic mango is mentioned there so you know uh, generally they, they, it's a misconception that fruits are sweet and uh, they are not to be consumed by a diabetic but it is it's a hoax it's a myth No okay okay doctor fine and also is blood sugar monitoring important is one question asked by one viewer definitely definitely important no doubt about it and checking hba1c is also important and people who are having a very high blood sugar levels they have to also check their c peptide levels for confirming whether if it is type 1 or type 2 diabetes and is exercising important if so for how many hours one should indulge in physical activity is one of the questions asked so uh, in my approach i don't stress much on exercise so in my approach just with diet modulation things will change but definitely exercise uh, no doctor will ask uh, patients not to exercise right so definitely exercise will uh, bring down your uh, blood sugar levels and, and there is walk i think that is more walk. than enough, yeah. gentle gentle walk is also sufficient just to give your body some friction and generate some heat and uh, you know let the intestines move you know oh. uh, you know and also there is no particular uh, measure to exercise in ayurveda as you know doctor uh, uh, our rishis have asked us to exercise to half our energy right so if you can walk for 5 km stop with 2.5 km so you can do like that it it applies to even weight yeah. and uh, number of hours to the metabolism that's the basic correct 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 also there is one question uh, does fasting help reduce sugar levels yeah fasting will reduce blood sugar levels but uh, how how long can you fast you know it's impractical to fast for diabetes if you fast for 2 days you you can see a drop in your blood sugar levels but you can fast forever right so it's only a temporary solution okay fine another question asked is can pregnant ladies be also treated with ayurvedic medication yes we can treat with ayurvedic medication but uh, we we the choice is different we choose different set of medicines for pregnant ladies okay 
is it significant to have regular follow ups doctor yes until the reversal happens regular follow ups is necessary once the reversal is achieved then there is no need for follow up you can it's your life you can proceed further without any guidance of a doctor and one last question doctor should ayurvedic medicines be consumed life long no need no need for consuming life long for diabetes if you follow the diet uh, which is prescribed by me then no need to take any medication okay fine So I think we have come to an end with this video. Thank you for this insightful knowledge which you have given, Dr. Arvind. Is there any specific message which you want to convey to our viewers out there? Mm, since I was not prepared for this, I don't have anything uh, my, in my uh, pocket now. So. Okay. Thank you so much, Dr. Arvind. I'm really very grateful for having you here. Yeah, hey, Dr. Uh, okay, Dr. Smriti, it was pleasure uh, having yeah. a meeting with you like this. Yeah, yeah. I hope, I hope your your subscribers will benefit yeah, from yeah. this discussion. Correct, correct. I hope yeah. everyone understood the concept of diabetes and how Ayurveda helps uh, treat such conditions. And if you have any questions or queries you want to ask Dr. Arvind, you can leave it in the comment section below. We'll surely respond. And you know, I hope this uh, video helped you out. So doctor thank you for everything and with that we have come to an end with this video if you guys like my video then please don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'm going to see you guys very soon in my next video till then stay tuned and thanks for watching